Well, good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Happy New Year, everybody. We're back in Jersey. We're out on a hike today. We've got the Swiss M70 jacket loaded up with the pack that comes with the jacket. And we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to let you guys check this out. The pattern is called Alpenflage, and it's really good in the eastern woodlands. It's red dominant, which is something you wouldn't expect to be you know, a valid color for camouflage, but it, it works. It breaks your shape up and it blends right down with the leaves. So. It works really well. In addition to the cool camo, it's got a ton of storage built into it. It's load bearing and it's got its own pack. I've got it clipped on today on my back. It's pretty sweet and you can get it on the surplus market for not a lot. The pack itself is accessed through this waist strap. It just unclips and then there's two clips at the top So here's a look at the backpack itself. On the sides, I've got a ultralight sleeping bag and a military space blanket that I use typically for a ground sheet. You can use it for shelter building as well. And the main compartment, I've got some stuff for coffee, a field jacket liner for an US M65 jacket, I believe. I've got a full size eight by 10 poly tarp and also a stove in here at the bottom. It's the MSR wind burner stove. It's a really great stove. When you're out in a location where you can't build a campfire, it's, it comes in handy. It heats water up really fast. Back of the pouch, there's room for your e-tool or shovel or ax. Here are the contents of the jacket all laid out. It's essentially a 10C kit. My cutting tools are a small Puko knife, a folding saw, and a Swiss Army knife. My combustion kit is a lighter, a ferro rod, and some surefire comprised of cotton balls soaked with Vaseline and some waxed jute twine. My hydration kit is a 32 ounce steel water bottle with a nesting cup and a Sawyer water filter for filtering water on the trail. For cordage, I have a small spool of bank line and a paracord ridge line all set up ready to go for building shelters. I have a plush palaka tucked into the large cargo compartment at the rear of the jacket, a modern ripstop style poncho for shelters and ground cloths, in addition to the full-size poly tarp and space blanket in the backpack. My navigation kit is a Sunto MC2 compass, right in the rain notepad and some pacing beads. I have a headlamp as a candling device, a cotton cloth for pre-filtering water and for first aid. I've got cargo tape for making repairs, a fishing kit and a sewing kit, and some leather work gloves. So all of this fit right on the outside pockets of the jacket. Plus I had room in the pack itself for sleeping gear and further shelter options. I don't know exactly how much I'm carrying on the coat right now today. If I had to guess, I'd say 25, maybe 30 pounds total. It was designed to be a maneuverable because it's a sniper jacket. So you have everything like close to your body. It's almost the same concept now that these like ultra running vests are copying. Keeping everything like the weight distributed, not just on like your back and your shoulders, but putting stuff on the front. It's pretty much what you would expect from the people that made the Swiss Army knife. It's literally, <laughs> this is the Swiss Army jacket. <laughs> and it's second hand, so it's recycled. It's not like some new crazy expensive Plastic piece of plastic gear, gear. it's just gonna rip you know <laughs> yeah these things are tough they're built to last i say it stacks right up with the gorka suits it's a pretty cold day today it's just just about freezing i started with just my t-shirt and a sweater underneath the jacket but as it's kind of cooled down, I added my jacket liner. I threw that on, and just for an added layer, I threw my palaka on over top. Well, there you have it, the Swiss M70 jacket. It's an awesome piece of gear. You can still find these in the surplus market for a very reasonable price. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like and subscribe to help support the channel. We'll see you soon.